So rhodiola rosea is a really interesting compound because it falls into this category of what people call adaptogens. But normally when you hear adaptogens, first of all, that's a very vague term. It doesn't yeah. actually mean anything specific. It means a, an ability to adapt generally or specifically. No one's really pinpointed what that means. But typically the adaptogens are going to reduce cortisol. So for instance, ashwagandha is a very potent suppressor of cortisol. There's some evidence it can indirectly in increase testosterone, but probably mm. through suppression of cortisol, since those are in the same synthesis pathway. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen. Ashwagandha, because it lowers cortisol, should probably be taken late day, not early day, because you want cortisol high. Yep. Ashwagandha, as a cortisol suppressing adaptogen, probably also should not be taken in high amounts, not low, low amounts, but in high amounts, meaning you know four to 600 milligrams prior to exercise, because the whole goal of exercise